Jim, welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Oh, thank you for having me, Lilia. So, Jim, NASA has taken a critical step here by releasing a solicitation for commercial companies to provide proposals for the collection of space resources. This is pretty exciting. Can you tell us exactly what is NASA looking for in these proposals? You know, you think about it. The President Donald Trump has told us to get to Mars. And to get there, we're going to the moon first to prove out systems and operations. And to do that, we've got to do it affordably. And so we're asking companies to look at what it costs to pick up some dust or rocks from the moon. And, but you think about it, that could be dust and rocks, a very small amount now, but five years from now, it could be a very large amount of water. We know there's water ice on the moon. And if we can use that water ice and harvest it, we can use it for drinking, for breathing, for propellant, all those things. And we know there's water on Mars, so we'd be doing the same thing there. But we've got to prove it out. But this really establishes the legal precedents to allow companies to do that so that they feel confident that they can extract those resources without someone deciding otherwise. This is pretty exciting, Jim. Now the president signed an executive order. As you mentioned, he wants NASA to make it to Mars, but he signed an executive order encouraging the recovery and the use of space resources. But will this also assist in our mission again to landing on the moon? And how can we use those resources back here at home? You know, it's, it is, this is about American values. And you think about it, we're so used to, to commerce in the United States where there's free trade, where there's transparency, where we basically have a level playing field where we can compete. All these things we want to take to outer space, to really democratizing deep space. And if we do that, we set up these norms of behavior. We're going to have other countries who are going to want to follow those norms because it'll be in their interest to do so. That's really what this is about. And I know that you're also allowing any company from any country to go ahead and, and you know, take their, their proposal and give it to NASA. Now, will these companies that are assisting collecting resources from other planets or who knows, maybe even asteroids one day, how does NASA see this partnership moving forward? You know, again, you think about it, it's about affordability. The president has said we've got to get to Mars. Well, how do we get there? we're hoping that we can use the resources on the moon because the gravity well of the moon is one sixth that of Earth's. So it's a lot easier and cheaper to launch from the moon. And you think about all those um, asteroid impacts on the moon, there could be metals from those asteroids that we could harvest with using robotics, 3D printing, uh, artificial intelligence to manufacture parts on the moon, which making it a lot cheaper than having to bring them out of Earth's atmosphere. So, and if we can, are able to do this on the moon, it may be that we'll be able to do it on Mars and basically leapfrog from one planet to another to get to deep space. Mind blowing possibilities there. It's pretty cool. And you know, I have you on today. Before I let you go, I do want to speak to you about September 11th. Many people might not know, but NASA was called into action after the terrorist attacks in New York, assisting FEMA and using its satellites. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? You know, Lily, the, the, the first off, I've got the Capitol behind me and I can see my old office, the window of my old office. I was in the Capitol on 9-11. And so today is very personal to me because I know the folks that were on that flight that gave their lives, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So it's certainly a special day for me. But with that, you know, NASA chipped in everywhere it could on after that day, just as it is today with the pandemic trying to help others with things like respirators. That's what we do is to help humankind. And that's what President Trump wants us to do and has told us to do. Beautiful note to end on there, Jim. Thank you for sharing also that personal story with us. It, it really does mean a lot, especially 
today just gives you chills. And again, we always love to have you on the show and especially today, making it that much extra special. Thank you again for all of that information. We're really excited to hear more. It's my honor, Lilia. Thank you. Thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.